What's up, friendos? It's me, it's me, it's Exotic MTG, and it has been a hot minute since we've been live, but that's okay. We're back, and we're going to send you a special treat, and it's called Eventide. That's right. Delicious box. I've had it for a while now. I think I got it late, no, maybe mid-2019. I think I got this box because I used a promo code on eBay to save some money. Um, I think I ended up paying about $500 for it, between four and 500, I think. So we're gonna open this up. This is going to be split between all of the different Ultimate and Masters Box Club people on Patreon. If you wanna become a patron, you can do so pretty simply at patreon.com slash exotic MTG. Check out all the different tiers that we have to offer. We've even got a standard booster box club, which is going to be a Theros booster box plus Ikoria booster boxes when it uh, when I get those in next week. So um, we're going to open up this Theros booster box for them along with Ikoria, and then again the Ultimate and the Masters booster box club members will get even tied loot. So there's 18 people sharing this box, plus we have one pack that we're going to give away to one lucky winner on Twitter. So without further ado, we're going to make you wait on Eventide because we're going to crack open this Theros booster box. We're going to open it quick, though. We're only going to show the spicy stuff <clears throat> if I ever get it open. Hopefully we can get some alternate art stuff in here. Maybe a, a euro. Maybe I can use my teeth. Man, struggling. <clears throat> there we go. Just annihilate it, right? It's not like we're keeping the box for a display. So all of the different standard members, that would be standard members from last month and standard members for this month will share those four boxes because they banked their loot in order to get Ikoria. Yes, Corlethal, I say live. Like I said, we're gonna go through these packs really quick. This is just to show what the standard club members are going to be sharing. One, This is one of, okay, that's a good start, Perforos. This is just one of four boxes that the standard tier members will get the month of May. I guess we could look at those for any possible alternate art cards. Perforos in pack one seems pretty good. A foil Nyxborn Colossus and an Eidolon of Obstruction. I know most people came here to watch that Eventide box and that is okay. That's why I'm gonna go through this so quickly. A Labyrinth of Scophos. Theros has been hated on a bit. Uh, when I first started opening Theros packs, I really liked the set. But it just seems like it's kind of um, fallen off the cliff with people. So much stuff comes out of those collector's boosters, so the value just... Uh, there's Temple of Deceit. The, fa the value just struggles because of how easy it is to get all those mythics. Nadir Kraken. I'll tell you what set I really just love. And, and I, ooh, nice. Foil Forest. And a Nyx Lotus. That's a good hit. I'm really digging... Um, the uh, the Conflux, I think it's getting opened again by Infinite Card Games, so check his channel out. Here's a foil mirror shield. Hey, Dream Trawler, that's a pretty good rare. And then we've got the Eventide today. Lots of older stuff getting cracked. And I'm excited for... Um, Ikoria, which is just a week and a half away on this channel. I know that you can go to other channels and watch them already open it, but we did not get to do it early 
Here is a foil, I think. No, yes. Is that foil? It's really hard to tell. Yes, that's a great foil hit. Storm Herald. Hopefully more foil rares in the box to be had. That's Allure of the Unknown. A Dryad of the Elysian Grove. That's a good one. Alternate Art, uh, Caliph. It's a pretty good pack right there. I love the Dryad. One of my favorite cards, if not my favorite card, in this whole set. What's up, DW? And here's a Foil Traveler's Amulet and a Perforos' Intervention. So close to that Eventide booster box. Make sure you guys share that we're live on Twitter. That would be awesome of you. Hey, Pelucranos, the Unchained. That is a great Mythic Rare right there. Two good ones. <clears throat> share it in the Discord. Share it in Twitter. Tell all your friends, family, and a shout-out to all the other content creators out there. Ooh, a second foil basic. Nice. And an Arkan of Sun's Grace, which is another good rare hit. This is a pretty good box. If we can get Euro, we actually could... Uh, Call this a win. Temple of Abandon. Another alternate art. That one's Annex. He's good. What is your guys' favorite card or the card you'd like to see pulled from the Eventide box? Let me know. Here's a Woe Strider. He's awesome. Woe Strider. Whoa. He's pretty good. Hey, Nyx Bloom Ancient. Look at the, the Mythics we're getting. This is awesome. This is a great box for the standard Booster Box Club. They're going to be very happy. They were probably thinking, oh, not any Theros. No, I don't want Theros. Well, guess what? We had it. You're getting it. You're also getting a Coria. And it's looking pretty good. This is all gravy. <clears throat> Ooh, is that a foil? Oh, it's not. I thought it was foil at first. It's the glare of the light. Shadow Spear's a good one, though. Good, good rare. Foil would have been sweet. Hey, a foil Temerit. Chosen from death. And a protein Thromaturge. Not bad. We got a foil alternate art. We might even get one more of those in here if we're lucky. Foil Triumphant Surge and a Aphmia the Cacophony. That's what I say anyway. And she's pretty good. We opened a box top for one of those once, didn't we? Ooh, what did I say? Alternate art coming at us. And we got Erebos Black Hearted. That is a great spicy hit for a lucky patron. Oh my gosh, that is great. We will put that right there. That is awesome. He's a good one to get. Feffy, can't be mad at that. There's people like Sona. He's going to get uh, loot from... Eventide and Standard Edition, because he is in the Ultimate Tier, which means that he gets parts of both different tiers, both categories. He couldn't make up his mind on if he wanted Standard or Masters, so he went Ultimate and got them both. You can do that too. And I think he's going to do just fine making his money back. Foil Furious Rise. And a Treacherous Blessing. Yes, Jund is looking good. Good eye, good eye. We still have a third of the box to go, and we have four Mythics. One of them is Alternate Art. And an Underworld Breach, another good hit. This box is just producing. Pack after pack, producing. A Phoenix of Ash, that's a great red rare.
or if you're here for the first time ever, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. Oh, look at that. Yes. Beautiful. Love this three-headed dog. <clears throat> make sure you follow us on Twitch, too, because we do stream. We have a stream team. You can see all the streams at exoticmtg.tv or just uh, uh, subscribe to us or follow us on Twitch. Just Exotic MTG is the name there. Easy to find everywhere. Foil Hydra's Growth and a Bronze Hide Lion. If I'm lying, I'm dying. Thank you to all 11 awesome individuals that are here for this live stream. Uh, is it Tyronica? Acro and Veteran. I don't think she's very good, is she? I don't think so. I don't think I've seen her much. Storm Herald, non-foil. We'll take it. We will take it. We got three packs left. Hoping to get one more Mythic out of here. It's probably in this pack. Just going off of statistics. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 what did I just say? Calling my shots. It never ends. I'm always calling my shots here at Exotic MTG. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh, my God. This is pretty sweet. We just got ourselves a foil mythic Nyx Bloom Ancient out of a box that was already producing huge hits. And a Storm's Wrath, which we'll put off to the side. I called my shot, said there's probably going to be a Mythic in here, and it ended up being a Foil Mythic. And a good one at that. Trample 5-5 five, five for 7. Put that in a perfect fit there. Someone, a lucky patron, is going to own this card when I ship everything at uh, probably mid-month once Ikoria gets in and we do all the filming of that. If you tap a permanent for mana, it produces three times as much of that mana instead. And guess what? We got deuce of them. That's pretty sweet right there, kids. We just got ourselves a fifth mythic out of the box. One of the mythics a foil. One of the mythics... I forgot I was opening them this way. One of the mythics a uh, alternate art super spicy box. Nylia's Intervention. I don't expect much out of these last two packs, so... We'll see if we can't get some kind of crazy bonus hit here. I doubt it. I doubt it. Gravebreaker at Lamia. So the standard tier Booster Box Club is living large right now. I'm just going to put all this stuff into the box off to the side so I don't lose my spot here. All right. So that's all out of the way. Foils, Mythics, Rares, Alternate Arts, it all ships to patrons. It all ships. That is a great box. And now, what everyone came here for. Eventide. A foil bloom tender is between $200 and $250, depending on... Well, let's see. Let's talk about pack fresh, because it's going to be pack fresh if we get one. It's going to probably be a good sell for $250. If we hit a huge hit like that, that would just be amazing. <clears throat> Tight fit. Ooh! It hasn't felt oxygen in so long. Mm. Let's see, how does it smell? It smells like nothing, actually. Looking for players? Ew, that's gross. Run your own tournament right out of this box. Woo! Interesting, interesting. Fef, I'm sorry, you can't have this. This is the one thing I get to keep from this box to remember this moment. But hey, you're going to get stuff from the box, so... 
At least you get that. Also, we have $2 patrons. If you don't have a bunch of money to swing around, they will also get a couple comments from this box. So that'll be pretty cool. All right, so here we go. Good luck to uh, all of my Ultimate and Master's Tier patrons. And good luck to those $2 patrons that hope to get a cool, common, like, Ballynock Trapper. Gift of the Deity. Airy Ophies. Fire at Will. Who is this Will guy you speak of? Dream Thief. Recumbent Bliss. Talara's Bane. Banishing Knack. Sends Enlistment. Slippery Boggle. Look at that. We got a Boggle. Gotta love that. Clout of the Dominus. A Kithkin Soldier. That is a great token. That is a great token. A Razorfin Abolisher. Idle Thoughts, which is really an amazing art. It really is. Books that fly and have lightning bolts coming out of them. And a quill spike. And the rare is a waves of aggression. Our first rare out of the box. Waves of aggression. Got that dream thief again. Kithkin Spell Duster, Harvest Gwillian, Woodlurker Mimic, Drugar Assailant, Snake Form, Clout of the Dominus again, Jawbone, Skulkin, Adias Trow, Una's Grace, which is a good one. Oof. All right. Hands down, coolest token ever. That is a sweet token. Get out of here. I want this. <clears throat> Hearthfire Hoob Goblin. As in Hobgoblin. I don't know why I said Hoob Goblin. Hey, Flicker Wisp. Nice. Got a Flicker Wisp. That's an awesome hit. And Duragar Cave Guard. With. Oh, we have a foil in here, kids. Light from within. Are we already going to get out of our foil rare? No. <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh my god. A foil eventide nettle sentinel? That is freaking hot. Oh man. That is a good freaking foil for us to snag. For those of you that don't know this common, it's a 2-2 two, two for 1, and it doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. Whenever you play a green spell, you may untap it. So you're getting a 2-2 two, two for 1, which is great. The drawback is that it doesn't untap, but by casting a green spell, it then untaps. This is a super good common. One of the best commons in this set, and we got a foil one. That is great. I should probably go over what the rares do. It's a $10 foil that Jackson Hill says. That's pretty sweet. Waves of Aggression is three and two of either white or red. Untap all creatures that attack this turn. After this main phase, there is an additional combat phase followed by an additional main phase with retrace. <clears throat> and then the light from within, two and two white enchantment. Each creature you control gets plus one, plus one for each white mana symbol in its mana cost. Man, I am... I'm over the moon about that foil of common. Over the moon. What's up, Cyberpunk? All right. Duragar Assailant again. Snake Form again. Scourge of the Nobilis. Shell Skulkin. Soul Reap. Another Nettle Sentinel. Marrow Bonar. Inside Out. I love that art. Look at that. That actually is probably the coolest art 
I might have to put this on the top of my list. That is awesome and creepy. Who's the artist of this one? Oh, there's two artists. Okay. That's interesting. Beacon Apparition. Uh, Monstrify. Cloud of the Dominus again. So far, this has been a pretty cool box. Um, Swirling Spriggan. A Moonhold. A Hoggle Hedge Mage. And a Still Moon Cavalier. Still Moon Cavalier. All right, so it's a 2 1 for 3, protection from white and from black. Pay one, it gains flying. Pay one, gains first strike. Pay two, gets plus one, plus zero. Got it. All three rares have some white in them. All right, Cinder Pyromancer, Marrow Leviator, Edge of the Divinity. Fang Skulkin, Gift of the Deity again, Renclaw Trow, Una's Grace again, Beacon, Boggle, got the Boggle again, and a Noggle Bridge Breaker, Raven Crime, Raven's Crime. Gosh, I even love the commons. Two Headed Giant is a fun format for everyone. Voracious Hatchling. Razorfin Abolisher. Patrol Signaler. Signaler. Ooh, Spring Jack Pasture. Not bad. You know how I love my rare lands. Add one to your mana pool. Pay four, tap it. Put a zero one white goat creature token into play. You can tap it, sacrifice X goats. Add X mana of any one color to your mana pool. I'm sure there's some people that play EDH that wouldn't mind having this guy. Mm-hmm. See? See, Fef wants it. Fef might get it because Fef gets some of the cards from this box. And we know what we also have to do is we have to pick one pack from here. Let's just pick one randomly. Got to pick a pack for our giveaway on Twitter. That'll be that one. Seen it. Seen it. Seen it, seen it. Riverfall Mimic. Wilderness Hypnotist. Sends Enlistment. Some people think that there's going to be a hit in the giveaway pack, which is very possible. Shrewd Hatchling. Only two tokens out of the five packs. Um, Skulker Hag. Crumbling Ashes. This is, see, Daniel, this is why people love Exotic MTG because not only do they get to watch amazing stuff get opened, they actually get to have some of the loot. And again, patreon.com slash exotic MTG to get in on that. We have a foil again. Crumbling Ashes. Now we have Stigma Lasher. Two red for a 2-2 two -two with Wither. This deals damage to creatures in the form of 1-1 one -one counters. Like Poison Counters, uh, whenever Stigma Lasher deals Damage to a player. That player can't gain life for the rest of the game. Tim Johnson actually got to draft this set. That's pretty cool. All right. What is our foil color? Can it be green? We want it to be green. It's black. Please don't be a rare. It is a rare. Um, py Pyrek. Py how do you say that? Pyrek Revival. Um, three and three, so six. Each player returns each creature card from his or her graveyard to play with a one-one counter on it. Um, I doubt we'll get the foil bloom tender that we were really hoping to get, which was not likely anyways, but we ended up getting a foil rare worth a dollar. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. I mean, you could probably make this card be pretty cool and pretty good in your deck. But that's not what we were looking for, kids. Not what we were looking for. 
our nettle sentinel is better. <laughs> How about a foil flicker wisp? That's possible. Edge of Divinity again. Hoof Skulkin. Unmake. Wickerboro Elder is pretty good. Durgar Assailant. Talaris Bane. Trapjaw Kelpie. Kithkin Zealot. Drain the Well. You know, there is a chance we could get two foil rares in here. It is possible. So we can't get our hopes completely down into the dumps. Wistful Skelky. Another Idle Thoughts. And a Cauldron Haze with a Ashling the Extinguisher. This is a commander, a.k.a. a legendary creature. 4-4 four, four for 4, Elemental Shaman. When it deals combat damage to a player, choose target creature that player controls. He or she sacrifices that creature. This is actually a pretty sweet rare. Um, I do dig this card. And it's got the, uh, the yeah, the Annihilator ability, basically. And someone's going to be the proud owner of this Ashling, the Extinguisher. Three bucks. But it's pack fresh, Jackson. Remember that. Pack fresh. Fire at will. Marrow, Battlegate, Desecrator Hag, which is flipping weird in its own. Look at that. What does that remind you of? The, the thing that ate uh, Boba Fett, right? Yeah, the art is amazing. Noggle Bandit. Wouldn't mind to foil one of those. Smoldering Butcher. Looks like my ex. <laughs> Double Cleave. Grazing Kelpie. Heartlash Cinder. Ooh, finally another token. It's a beast. Pretty sweet beast, that's for sure. An unwilling recruit. It's exciting to get tokens from this set. It really is. Unwilling recruit. Suture spirit. Spring Jack Shepherd. And a Wake Thrasher. We're still seeking that bloom tender. The Wake Thrasher is a 1-1 one, one for 3. Whenever a permanent you control becomes untapped, Wake Thrasher gets plus 1, plus 1 until end of turn. That's a Merfolk for Feffy. Whoa. That's cool looking. Night, Night Sky Mimic. Favor of the overbeing is great art as well. Nip Gwillian. Hot headed giant. Marrow Bonar again. Seen that one. Ooh, a wolf token. Lovely wolf token there. A savage. Conception. A cash raiders. More, more merfolk. A phosphorescent feast. Oof. Saw that green and I thought we were getting it. Sapling of Kelfinor. Three and two for a two five. It's indestructible. Whenever sapling of Kelfinor attacks, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, you gain life equal to that card's toughness. Lose life equal to that to its power, then put it into your hand. Okay. Another Nettle Sentinel. Nice. <clears throat> Just looking for art that I haven't seen yet. Drain the Well. 
Ooh, sweet. Another spirit token. I love it. Soul Snuffers. Batwing Broom. Gilder Bairn. What the heck is that thing? That is so cool. A cute little guy. Collecting his little glowy flowers or whatever. Leering Emblem. It's an Ophi. Cute little guy, he really is. Sorry, I was trying to straighten up these cards here. <clears throat> Leering Emblem. Whenever you play a spell, equip creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Equip for two. Not bad. Kind of a cool little equipment card. You got to appreciate every single card from this set. You really do. The mimics are pretty cool looking. What the heck? He's writing uh, some kind of crazy little bug. Ooh, look at that beautiful bird token. I mean, it's an owl, but it, it's a bird. It's a bird owl. But hey, look at that. That's cool. That might be my new favorite token. I think it's better than the spirit. Beautiful. Uh, Sprite Mare. Uh, Bloodied Ghost, which is pretty cool. Looking. Uh, Canker Abomination, which has been a, a reprint in Master Sets. Hi, Dagon, or Dragon, depending. No Bloom Tenders yet. We have a foil here, though. Regal Force, that's a good one. And a foil, ooh, nice, a foil Flame Jab. What a sweet pack. Regal Force is a 7-drop 5-5. Five five. When it comes into play, draw a card for each green creature you control, which is great. Card draw for green. Flame Jab is really nice foil. We're getting two now great foil commons. Regal Force, though, is a great rare to hit. You guys know my OCD is real. Yes, we hit the foil rare, Dragon. The Revival. But there could be another. You never know. You never know. Could be even in this pack. Love that inside out. Rules. Marsh Drinker Giant. Cancerous Thirst. Durgar Cave Guard. There are not mythics in this set, I don't believe. A Fable of Wolf and Owl. And there's our bird. See, now they're calling it an owl. They're very confused. That is the same bird. And they call it a bird here and an owl there. Yes, give us owl creature type. I think we're at the point to where we've probably seen all the commons. We'll still kind of skim through them real quick. <clears throat> Loyal Gyre Falcon, that's pretty sweet. We've seen that. Ooh, Dream Fracture, that's cool looking. And a Sanity Grinding. It's a three blue drop sorcery. Reveal the top ten cards of your library for each blue mana symbol in the mana cost of the revealed cards. Target opponent puts the top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Then put the cards you revealed this way on the bottom of your library in any order. If you want to do some fun milling of things, that is a cool one to have. <laughs> Kyle, that's funny.
All right. We'll start going faster through the commons. Hey, there's another wolf token. Creekwood Ghoul. Selkie Hedge Mage. Quill Spike. Hey, a Rugged Prairie. Nice. We got a Dooley. Very, very cool. Got a Dooley. It's our first one in the box. Filterland. We need another foil. Outrage Shaman. Selkie Hedge Mage again. That's our third one, I think. Endure and a Necro Skitter. Eh. Necro Skitter is a 1 4 for 3 with Wither. Uh, whenever a creature an opponent controls with a 1 1 counter on it is put into the graveyard, you may return that card to play under your control. Necro Skitter. Ah! Fail. Poor Necro Skitter just got beat up. Used to be 35 bucks, huh? Well, I'm glad I didn't buy a bunch of them. Worm token. A great worm token it is. Outrage Shaman again. Hoggle, Noggle Hedge Mage. And another Dream Fracture. Oh, not a Bloom Tender. Primal Crux. A star star for six green elemental creature. Trample. And its power and toughness are each equal to the number of green mana symbols in the mana cost of permanence you control. This is like a wannabe Tarmogoyf. All right, Jackson, we're going to get our Bloom Tender soon here, buddy. Jackson, are you part of the... Uh, ooh, not a Netta Sentinel. And another Flame Jab. Are you part of the uh, the Patreon of people getting loot from this box? Ooh, another Worm Token. A Noxious Hatchling, Suit Imp, and a Moonhold. And uh, not a Bloom Tender. Jackson, what are you waiting for, man? Doomgate, a 10-10 for 7 trample at the beginning of your upkeep. Sacrifice a creature, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness. That's actually kind of a cool card. I like him. I like him. He's real cool. Old tiny hands, that's funny. I love your guys' input on these videos. That's why I like doing them live. Oh, another cool soldier. Durgar Mine Captain. Relent Restless Operation. Noggle Ran Ransacker. And a Noblest of War, which is a reprint. He was in Modern Masters 15, I believe. And not one of the cards you really wanted to snag out of that, out of that set. Yes, we just need to return. We just need to return to great sets like this. A Slippery Boggle again. Gotta love those. Ooh, we got our first goat token, and I love it. That's cool. That's cool. I am easily satisfied in the magic game these days. Lingering, Tormentor, Restless Apparition again, and an Invert Disguise with ah, not a Bloom Tender. Two and three for Sorcery. Put a 1-1 one, one black and green worm creature token on to play for each land card in your graveyard with Retrace. All the green rares. Where's the tender? Give me the tender, love and... Oh, wow. Nettle Sentinel and Flame Jab are, like, right next to each other. If we get a foil one of these, then we'll know that that's the order of foils you get. Because if we got a Nettle Sentinel and then a Flame Jab, 
If we get a foil one of these mimics, we really will know what they're up to. It's not a conspiracy. It's a fact. Kithkin Soldier, Marsh Drinker Giant, Canker Abomination, a Chaotic Backlash. First one of those I think we've seen. Does damage attacker player equal to twice the number of white and or blue permanents he or she controls? Hey, a Fetid Heath. There we go. Filter, filter, filter lands. Fun for everyone. Heck yeah, man. Another. This is our third spirit. Yes, this is a great nostalgia box. We also don't have a foil in here. So we got a belligerent hatchling, a groundling pouncer, a cauldron haze, and a rekindled flame. That is really cool. The art, anyway. What does it do? Two and two red for a sorcery. Deals four damage to target creature or player at the beginning of your upkeep. If an opponent has no cards in hand, you may return rekindled flame from the graveyard to your hand. I'm not nervous yet about no bloom tender. I am not nervous yet, but the nerves will start coming here pretty soon, I think. Ooh, we got a blue foil back there. Blue foil. Beast token. Twin blade slasher. Invert disguise. Cauldron Haze, The Rare, Divinity of Pride, which has been reprinted in a master set. 4-4 four, four for 5, Flying Lifelink. Uh, gets 4-4 four, four as long as you have 25 or more life. What do we want this blue foil to be? Oh, we got the cute little guy. We got the cute little Ophi guy in a foil. Oh, can I keep this and get it graded? This is cool. I want this. It's pack fresh and it's awesome. One, three for three. Pay three, tap it for each counter on target permanent. Put another of those counters on that permanent. That's pretty sweet. I really want this card. I love it. He's like my new best friend guy. Well, little magic best friend. You untap it, not tap it. Oh, interesting. Okay. Nettle Sentinel again. Is the flame jab behind it? Oh! Oh! We found it. The conspiracy theory is proofed. <clears throat> and a bird. Owl. A bird owl. A hearthfire hobgoblin. Twin Blade Slasher and a Chaotic Backlash with a Deathbringer Liege. That guy's pretty good. He's like probably like 15, 20 bucks, isn't he? Two and three for three, four. Uh, other white creatures you control get one, one. Other black creatures you control get one, one. Whenever you play a white spell, you may tap target creature. Whenever you play a black spell, you may destroy target creature if it's tapped. Dude, this is a great hit. I love it. 12 bucks, okay. Okay, 12 bucks. We'll take it. Eight says, well, this is pack fresh. You guys got to remember, pack fresh adds just a little bit to it. Ooh, another goat. We got, we got him. We got the goat. Sturdy hatchling. Noggle ransacker. Suit imp and a scare. Oh, this is another good one. Scare, scare crone. This is a good one. So it's a three drop artifact creature scarecrow for one, two. You can pay one and draw a card. You can pay four, tap it, return target artifact creature card from your graveyard to play. $15 says the dragon. Pretty sweet little card right there. Two packs back to back. Pretty good ones. All right, Bloom Tender, you should be next.
There's just something about pack fresh old cards that just make me happy. Kithkin Soldier Token. Again, we have a foil here. Cankerous Thirst. Suture Spirit. Spirit. An Impel Giant. It's blue and black. Hey, there's another revival. We already read with that. Oh, what did I say? I knew it. We were going to get one of these the whole time. I told you guys that we were going to get this freaking mimic in foil. I have got their number. I got them figured out. I got them figured out. It's all in order. That's why box mapping was a thing back then. Ooh, can we get a slippery boggle foil? That'd be great. Worm token. Savage conception. Uh, Nuclave, <laughs> I think. Duskdale worm. Hey, a flooded grove. Nice. We've got three filter lands now. That's awesome. Give me all the filter lands. Noxious Hatchling. Talonrend. We have a foil in here. Indigo Fairy. Figure of Destiny. Another reprint. And it's black. We can appreciate the art for you, Fef. A Batwing Broom. Or is it Brume? Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. If white was spent to play it, each player loses one life and each attacking creature he or she controls. If black was spent to play it, do both. Hmm. Well, if the bloom tender's in the giveaway pack, oh, then I'm going to add a future site pack for the... Uh, my beautiful patrons that are sharing this box. So I'm really, really hoping the Bloom Tender's not in the giveaway pack now. That foil Gilder Baron is $18. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Grounding Pouncer, Hag Hedge Mage, Impelled Giant, and a Ward of Bones. That's actually not a bad one. Six drop artifact. Each opponent who controls more creatures than you can't play creature cards. Same is true for artifacts, enchantments, and lands. That's actually a pretty sweet card. All right, just going to clean this up a little bit. We have limited tries left. The nerves are starting to get a little antsy. Another unmake for... Fef, another beast token, $12 on the bones, Drugar Mine Captain, Cash Raiders, and a Phosphorescent Feast. Ooh, we have a foil. Endless Horizons is the rare. Oh my gosh, we did get another foil rare. We did. Nightmare Incursion, five and a black sorcery search target player's library for up to X cards where X is the number of swamps you control and remove them from the game. What? That is awesome. I don't hate that card. That is awesome. Endless Horizons, three and a white enchantment. When it comes into play, search your library for any number of planes cards and remove them from the game then shuffle your library at the beginning of your upkeep you may put a card you own removed from the game with endless horizons into your hand all right well i think we got eight packs one of those packs is the giveaway 
<sighs> okay, Endless Horizons is nice for nine bucks. I, I, I accept that. Do we want to trade out the giveaway pack with any of these packs? No. Well, then let's do the giveaway pack now. Actually, no. I'm going to do the giveaway pack on Twitter. That's what I'll do. We need the followers. If you're not following on Twitter, please do so. Exotic MTG. Boom. Diggity dog. Here we go. Ooh, new. New one. A new one we don't have. Goblin Soldier. When I say new, I mean super old. A 1-1 one, one Goblin Soldier Token. Pretty cool. Hatchet Bully. A Crag Puka. A Batwing Broom again. And a Crackle Burr. What is it? A Fox getting split into two? 2-2. Two, two. Oh, it's an Elemental. 2-2 two, two for three. You can pay two and tap it. Tap two untapped red creatures you control. Does three damage to target creature or player. Pay two, untap it, untap two, tap blue creatures you control, return target creature to its owner's hand. Holy moly, goodness. We did get two foil rares, which we got to be pretty happy about that. Kithkin Soldier. All of the patrons that are sharing this box will all at least get one token, which is really cool. Unwilling Recruit. Hey, another Gilder Baron. Aw. Idle Thoughts. And a Rise of the Hobgoblins. It's a two-drop enchantment. When Rise of the Hobgoblins come into play, you may pay X. If you do, put X, 1-1 one, one red and white goblin soldier creature tokens into play. And we just got that token, too. <laughs> I vote Marcus can keep the little guy. Nah, man. I, apparently, he's 18 bucks, so I want to get him to a patron. Another boggle. Nice. Wolf. We have a foil in here. Yes, we do. We have a foil. Shrewd Hatchling. Lingering Tormentor. Cash Raiders, Inundate, return all non-blue creatures to their owner's hands. Oh, that's interesting. The foil's black. And it's an edge of the divinity. Not a bad uh, foil, I don't think, because it's just a one drop. Enchant creature. As long as enchanted creature is white, it gets plus one plus two. As long as the enchanted creature is black, it gets plus two plus one. That's cool. Hopefully we can snag at least one more foil out of here. Three dollar foil, nice. There's another nettle sentinel, another flame jab, a shore crasher mimic, a jawbone skulkin. Will that foil be in one of the remaining packs? Let's snag two more Bloom Tenders. Yeah, two more. We don't even have our first one yet. Is it in here? It very well could be. Soul Snuffers, Indigo Fairy, Spring Jack Shepherd, and a Mind Rack, Mind Rack Liege. Four, four for six. Other blue creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Other red creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Pay four, you may put a blue or red creature card from your hands into play. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, guys. I am nervous now. With the future site box, we got some pretty sweet stuff early. Yes, we have some sweet stuff early here too, but not the sweetest. Yeah, four mana put Emrakul on table. That's exactly what I was thinking, hands. Or Hans, sorry. That's exactly what I was thinking right when I read it. It's like a through the breach creature. Gullion Hedge Mage. 
Crag Puka, Duragar Hedge Mage. Oh, come on. Deity of Scars, 7-7 seven, seven for 5. Oh, it has to be blue or red. That's true. Deity of Scars come to play with two 1-1 one, one counters on it. You can pay one and remove one and regenerate it. Oh, gosh. We have three packs left, guys. We still don't want to switch this. Riding it out. Riding it out. Riding it out. No going back. A hatchet bully. A swirling spriggan. A ducktail worm. Come on, be green. Twilight Mire. We got a fourth filter land. Can't be mad at that. Is that a duplicate? No, it's not. That's pretty sweet, guys and gals. That is pretty sweet. All right. Oh, man. I am so flipping nervous. Come on. Be in there, Bloom Tender. Be in there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's not green. It's not green, it's red. It's red. Ugh! We don't get a bloom tender. Sturdy hatchling, siphon life, unnerving assault, and a thunder blast. Boo! Ugh! Hey, Thunderblast has Trample as long as it has a minus one, minus one counter on it, and it has Persist. It's a 7-2. And we fail. So, our final pack will be on Twitter. It will be on Twitter very soon. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit us up on Twitter, ExoticMTG. Hit us up on Twitch, ExoticMTG. And uh, I really appreciate all of you being here and spending all your free time here with us, because I know it isn't free. I'm ExoticMTG, and I'm out.